All right, folks, long time, no videos, but uh, today we have the broken down Tesla Model X. So, yeah, so what happened was that we drove the car to daycare this morning, and then uh, my wife got into the car going back, and the Tesla started popping up a whole bunch of um, alerts on the screen, and eventually, uh, the car shut down completely. She was able to get out by um, using the uh, this manual release. And uh, but yeah, the car the door will not actually um, close or or open any further. So that's as far as it goes. And the comp car is completely dead. I got off the phone with uh, Tesla Service uh, about an hour ago, and we tried to reboot the car obviously it doesn't react and now I have um, a towing service coming out by Geico to come and pick up the car anyway stay tuned so the tow truck is here and we've uh, used this uh, release on the right hand side for the uh, for the front to open the front and we're gonna jump the battery once the uh, car is ready for be, to be towed. So hopefully we'll be able to close the door and put the car in the tow mode. So I'm driving to the Tesla service center now and the cars, the Model X is traveling separately. So I'll visit them in person and hand over the key. Anyway, this is my first uh, chance to drive the uh, Model 3 after the Model X. I drove the Model X onto New York and back, and so I use autopilot a lot. Oh man, coming back to Model 3 with the enhanced autopilot, man, it's so much better than the AP1 autopilot on the Model X. It's incredible. It's very, very smooth. And uh, yeah. Anyway, if you want to uh, use a referral link to order your Tesla, just uh, find it in the description below, below the video. Point being that uh, even though obviously the car broke down today, the Model X, I would still recommend the Teslas to anybody in a heartbeat. It's just an incredible car and uh, even the pain of the car breaking down just doesn't compare to any of the ICE vehicles out there, internal combustion engine vehicles, that is. So yeah, I still highly recommend Tesla and will always do. All right, well, I didn't get to record anything at the Tesla service center uh, because it just, just did, didn't feel like a good opportunity. But in any case, just an update on the car Basically, the car is now in service. I dropped off uh, the key with them, and the car is obviously dropped off as well. Thanks to Nick for towing it. Uh, this was actually a part of the Geico towing program because our car is out of insure, uh, out of warranty. So um, I went with Geico to tow the car, and the tow was about 25 miles. We'll see whether it's fully covered or not. I that's my first experience, so I don't know how actually that works. Well, I'll provide you with an update later on. Anyway, car is in service, and uh, apparently I'll, I'll get a, lo a free loaner from Tesla while the car is in service, so I'll have to come back to uh, the service center with my wife later in the day to pick up a loaner. It'll most likely be an ICE car, meaning a regular car, but yeah, wh what can you do? Obviously, I'd rather have a Tesla, but we'll see how, how things go. Anyway, if you like this video, remember to uh, press the like button on uh, YouTube, subscribe to the channel for later updates, and we'll see you next time.